Whatever happens, happens. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean the world to me and to my guy Abel right here. You guys just woke up with us. It's Monday, September 16th. Um, It was Abel's birthday party weekend, so... Yeah, we are starting our kind of reset today because yesterday we were kind of tired from Saturday. So we kind of, right, it was a lot. We didn't do a lot. We were just resting, 
So Monday, I gotta get the crib in order. As you can see, there's like gifts, toys, leftover food everywhere. I just started a load of laundry right now. Um, just trying to do like a bunch of things at once, even though I'm really not trying to do that. But I just want to get, you know, the house in order and reset a little bit. Um, the the party was so fun. It was so cute. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. So make sure you also check out Abel's birthday vlog. Saturday, we're leaving to Tampa for a wedding. It's just like one thing after the other. So this week, we're going to kind of like prepare for that. Um, and after that, I really want to sit my ass at home. I told you about it. Like, I really don't want to do nothing for the rest of September <laughs> because... From moving to Abel's birthday party to now traveling to Tampa. It's going to be like for 48 hours, but like add a baby to the equation. It's a lot. I haven't gotten a chance, but like you guys from the moving vlog, the comments that you ladies been leaving me. I'm honestly happy that I do share what I share because a lot of you women said you could relate to how I felt. You feel seen. And you know, that's really what I want my channel to be about. Less superficial things and more like real life. Like those feelings of, you know, living in a studio or what you wish you could provide for your child. But you kind of don't have at the moment. And those feelings that come with it. A lot of you moms really go through that. And sometimes you really feel like. Is my situation, like, can someone relate? And you don't really realize there's a lot of women out there that can relate. Because, you know, I guess we're so used to keeping things to ourselves or not really sharing our true vulnerability um, online or what you see online because you just see the happier moments and, like, a little glimpse, literally, of, like, other people's postings. So it's very easy to compare yourself and feel away. The fact that many of you women felt like that, it validated me. Like, okay, I'm not bugging out. And a lot of you said like it was motivating and it was like the word you needed. You could be in a certain situation having certain feelings. Those are temporary because God is, God's plan. And I'm gonna preach that to the, to the end. God's plan, it's on his time. So I just really wanna thank you guys for even watching the vlog and like sharing your words sharing your congratulations, your blessings to us, our new home, and even sharing your life story. You know what I mean? Like people sharing very personal details about what they're going through. It's not easy. And just know I read all of them and I received it and I love you guys for that. So I just really want to thank you guys. Keep faith and keep, keep staying the course. I don't really know what's the temperature going to be like. I don't know if I do want to go outside. It's giving very it's Monday really vibes. You know, pancakes are my go-to. Sometimes we have pancakes multiple mornings because in the morning, I really can't get creative like that. So, pancakes it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it be basic. Fruits, pancakes, and whatever. You good. Because Abel don't even be eating half of the stuff I make. Not that it's like, he eats it, but like, I be seeing other babies and I know you can't compare. Like, they eat like their plate full. Abel would nibble on some like little things here and there. And not eat the whole thing. So it's just like, sometimes I'll be doing the most for him to not even eat it. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He's in this thing of throwing everything on the floor now. So now that we can finally use our high chair, we're using the Stoke high chair. I really love this high chair just because it grows with them. Um, I don't know why I put black on my registry. I wish I would have chose like a wooden color. But black is really, you know, sleek as well. And it's like, it's good because it's, since it's black, you can't really see if it gets dirty. But this chair grows with them. It is a bit pricey. Um, but that's the reason why I feel like the cost per like use you're going to get out of it, since it's going to grow with him, he's going to use it for many for a few years. So yeah, he's comfortable. So the fact that he's sitting on a high chair, he don't know how to act. He be throwing everything now on the floor. In your face too. He'll play in my face. I said, don't throw it. He'll throw it. But in other news, his nose is getting much better. You guys saw in his birthday vlog, we had a little accident in the morning of his birthday, but it's clearing up. My grandma told me she was like, put aloe vera so it doesn't scar easily. 
So we're in kind of that phase right now. You still a little cutie pie. Mm -hmm. Before I put it to wash, I just wanted to show you guys this like new throw blanket. I got it at Home Goods. Um, so I, the couch needed like a throw blanket. Oh yeah, did I ever show you guys the rug? We got our rug placed in. This one is from Ruggable. It's like a ombre neutral brown effect. It goes from like a deep brown and then it goes into like a lighter uh beige cream this one's from nicole miller this one was about twenty dollars i wanted something that was like nice but honestly something that i can cover myself with i know like there's so many throws that are nice but they're hard they just look light like they just look nice it's not something that you can like cuddle in so i really like this one i didn't get to show you guys we also put up our tv console um ignore the mess in the way but this one is from amazon they um this side these two come together and then we just ordered a single one to just place it to give it that long length so i really really like how this looks it looks expensive it's from amazon this one i believe was like 200 and something and then the single one was like a hundred and something so total you would have spent around like 400 for this really long console our tv size is a 75 so it doesn't look i didn't want a console that was too perfect i wanted a console that would have enough space on the side so this one did exactly what it needed to do. So I love that. But yeah, those are just the updates of the living room so far. We got the rug and everything up. So I really can't wait to put this up. I think this is damaged now that I see it. I mean, but whatever. I'm just going to throw it into the wash so that it could be out in the living room. You want me to read this to you? You guys, this is Abel's favorite book just because he likes the animals so for the wedding for abel i was um able to find like a little cute suit set from shein whatever your feelings are about shein that's on you but i i was able to find um like a cute little tailored suit set that's the reason why i love shein because they had stuff that was actually his size and that it came with everything like a shirt the shorts, like the little vest and a bow tie, which saves me a lot. It's like, I'm not trying to go around and find like the dress shirt and everything like that. So this came all together. So we're gonna try on, Papa, give me a second. I don't even, hold on, hold on. Let me just try it on. I, are the terrible two starting early? Do they start at one years old, boy moms? Like, let me know, cause he, be so spicy for everything but let's see how this looks this is gonna look so cute oh my goodness look at him it looks so cute you guys um so i was able to put abel down i was able to shower um wash my face wash my little book put on a little set not every day looks like this you guys um some days i'm just in my little moo moo all day looking crazy so right now i'm just having leftover birthday cake i don't know i was just cooking it and then now i'm watching like the girls bathroom on youtube right now there's definitely like a lot of things i could be doing right now like i want to start editing abel's birthday vlog but i'm gonna do that tonight like tonight tonight i want to get that done by friday so that it could coincide with like the instagram feed dump i'm gonna put yeah yeah this is like what my me time looks like while he's napping this is his first nap of the day um so i'm just gonna enjoy watching this making sure abel doesn't wake up when he wakes up we're gonna do some lunch we have leftover from abel's birthday party which saves me so much i'm gonna stretch out as much as i can because i'm really not trying to cook i don't want to cook here you go Got 
My Amazon package came in and I ordered an olive tree branch to put in the corner here in the dining room. So let's unbox it and see. Color pot goes with the vibe. Yeah, let me get what is the material? <laughs> My yeah. mom got another, she got a hippo. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the phone. The hippo? Let That's a go. koala. You guys are going to the beach? Not sure. You go to the beach? I just stay in a place with a pool. I want to do the But you guys have to take the best and take them to the beach. The beach is far. Stuff in there to make them taller. Oh. As an olive, olive tree? Mm-hmm. Maybe a seven-inch one would have been better. Turn the pot for one that's smaller and a black. It'll be good because we're about to change oh, these curtain the, rods. The mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We're gonna change the cotton, cotton, the um, curtain rods to black ones, and then Abel's high chair is black. And then I feel like all those little touches would like you know kind of coincide and give it a little touch. I feel like it's too big. Or like that corner so something a little bit more minimal and in size I think will complement each other I have to wait to turn it wait for the other one to come but it's okay that's the process of building a home and adding decor and everything is like trial and error really seeing what works out hey you guys it is um, Tuesday it's the next day um, I'm currently on my way to um a post office i have to drop off a poshmark order and then after that um i want to attempt to go to the ups and drop off that pot um that i bought for the olive tree i don't know if i could like carry it all by myself though we're gonna see we're gonna see hubs brown heart otter What happened? Yeah, my sofa call meeting got canceled. So after the post office, do you want me to ride with you to the to the UPS store so I could carry the box in? You want to just come downstairs and come? All right, fuck it. <laughs> come. <laughs> all right, bet. You didn't leave yet? Nah, I'm right here. Oh, uh, all right, bet. Come on. Okay. Look at God. Look at God. He was like, I'm not going to let you go by yourself. And Giovanni's gonna come with. 
I be really wanting to be like that independent girl that I could like go do my errands by myself. Um, but sometimes I really want Giovanni there. It's so crazy, you guys, because I like wrote in my journal how like I want to drive to do my errands. Like I don't want to go and walk and like walk to Whole Foods. I'm tired of like you know like carrying everything. I just want it to be so simple. I park in a parking lot, and look, you know like. It's really those things I definitely I don't like using the word manifestation at all because I I don't believe in that but like writing that in the journal like asking God like that's what I want be mindful about what you ask God because he is listening and he will give it to you so you have to be very very specific like I was very specific I said I want to drive to do my thing to do my errands to go to the supermarket to go to like you know like go to stores I just want to easily drive I don't want to walk anymore so it's little things like that that I'm just so grateful for ah, ah. all right so I just got to the um, home goods and Marshalls in Edgewater we're gonna see what it's giving I don't think I've been here before I think I've only been here like one time um, but they're right next to each other so that's a dangerous, dangerous combination. So let's see if we could come out with anything. Let's see what the vibes are telling me that I need. So you already know they have all these um, Halloween decor. I'm not doing anything like super scary, scary, but this is cute. It's like three sets of the minimalistic ghosts they have blue baskets i think i want to just use the same blue basket that i used for him last year you guys because why am i going to be buying a blue basket every year okay. so i ended up leaving the ghost um i'm gonna go to marshall see what they have it just wasn't calling to me so let's just see also i'm not really trying to spend if i don't really need it i'm not taking it so it's honestly too messy in here and it's giving more like clothes it's not giving like anything of anything to be honest so yeah like there's nothing in here that i really like so we got that out it's not giving you guys it's not giving so that was a dub nothing and there was like nice it was messy that marshall's was like not it to be real it wasn't it wasn't giving now i'm just gonna see if i can take him to like a, a park there's this place that i wanted to go to for his birthday that um we didn't end up going because he was sleeping it's like a cafe and it's like a little play area so i think i'm gonna go and there we have the whole place to ourselves i love how they have like a diaper station and then a kids bathroom where everything's midi and then they have the adult restroom you guys i am loving this place go ahead guys how freaking cute the little mini pizza with strawberry got the little fruits with the little cutter you guys i am so open right now 
Here you go. It's a little hot. Gotta have some grapes. so yeah you guys that place was so cute like i'm so obsessed with that place because they have like parties you could do there and the time that i went i was like the second person there there was like another mom there but we kind of had the place to ourselves for a little bit before um literally a bunch of people started coming and showing up but it's so like relaxed it's not chaotic the cafe y'all saw how cute the food was like i just love it love it love it love it it's giving like aesthetic it was clean even just the little whatchamacallit like the little ball pit like it was so adorable like i love the setup um i'm definitely coming back I'm glad that we came at the time that we did um i only booked for an hour so i got so it was like 155 to 255 um and that came out to like 1980 or something like that and then i bought the little pizza it came with the fruits um they cut the grapes in half it's like them little details you know like obviously you're not gonna give a little kid full-size grapes so it's like that very child friendly the fruit juice was like a pure strawberry fruit juice and it tasted so good like everything there i was able to give abel you know what i mean like even at 12 months so they had like the good um children tunes playing some disney tunes that i was singing myself they had a little hannah montana in there they had you know uh, the nightmare before Christmas too. So like all of those like Details that created like that great children atmosphere and then you know, there's a lot of benches around so parents can sit It's socks only but it felt so clean. They um, Had like cameras in the cafe section So let's say like you want to sit and eat you can tell the kids to go There's a big screen monitor like showing all the sections of the playground I'm so 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 a fan of that place um you have parking you can have it has like a parking lot that you can go free parking um so yeah you guys definitely check it out if you're in jersey so we'll definitely be going back definitely a cute place for a play date even if you want to do like a small um little party that is a good place to go as well so yeah we're just gonna be heading back to the crib I feel like he was about to take a nap. You was moving and grooving in there, Papa. <laughs> Morning, guys. It is um, Wednesday, 7.45 in the office, editing Abel's birthday vlog. Um, I just want to get this out by, like, tomorrow, hopefully, be done with it. Uh, today, we have a pedicure appointment at 11.30. Um, I'm going with Abel. So, so... I'm looking forward to that i know he's gonna be up i never took him to a pedicure while he's up um so yeah i'm gonna just try to finish this vlog as much as i can today and have it out for you guys so the day has commenced all right so we have breakfast and everything i'm packing his book bag now i'm not gonna take a purse um, what's annoying is that Giovanni forgot to bring me the stroller, so I'm gonna have to take him in his Duna tricycle. He's gonna be tired, so that's why I'm a little bit scared, and that's why it's kind of annoying that I don't have the stroller with me. Um, he's just gonna have to sit on my lap. Hopefully he's not crying. I'm like anxious for this, you guys, because I'm just scared about like how he's gonna be behaving while i'm getting a pedicure i don't know if i ever showed you guys 
the Duna that they sent us, but Duna was kind enough to send us their Lekki tray, which is amazing. Um, this one is like the S5, I believe. Don't quote me. I'm going to put the exact one that we have. The um, reason why I like this one is because it came with like a travel book bag. So it comes out, folds out, simple like this. Arms just go up. And then it has a little canopy. I got the black option just because like everything's been getting dirty. Like the, do the Bugaboo um, travel one that I have that's in beige, it is dirty. As nice as it looks, it is dirty and I hate that for us. Alrighty, so we out and about. My guy on his scooty. The only thing is that like with all the bumps, he's filling it. They called me to actually come in a little bit earlier, so that is so clutch. Maybe if I sit him on my lap, he can like fall asleep. But he only falls asleep like on the teta, so I ain't gonna be breastfeeding him there. So he better not even try it. <laughs> Yeah, that was not relaxing at all. Um, but thankfully, the pedicure came out super clean. I'm looking at them now. I like the place. Um, it's not giving like chop shop. They're busy where you have to like call in and like have an appointment. But it's not like, you know, just one nail artist there and stuff like that. Like it's an actual salon. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to be going back there. That's probably going to be my spot, my go-to. And um, just to do like simple gel manicures because like I said, I'm not doing anything crazy anymore. Able did good. It was just like I had to be on the phone for him to like st stay still. And like it's a tiny place. Nothing for him to be running around and touching things. So I was just like, you know, I'm not trying to... Um, risk it so I just had him on my lap the entire time on the phone looking at Rachel gotta do what you gotta do so while he's sleeping I'm gonna finish the birth his birthday vlog um, hopefully I can get a lot of a chunk of it done definitely by today I want to finish it by tonight so I can at least upload it tomorrow Thursday so yeah let me just get ahead and do this and I'll catch you with you guys later good morning guys it is Thursday morning um right now i'm in abel's closet i want to start packing today so i want to see like what i'm going to bring we're only there from saturday morning to monday afternoon abel so um yeah abel my uncle got abel this cute gift set so i think i want to bring this because it says it's up until 18 months, but since fall is around the corner, I kind of want to get a use out of it. Um, I feel like he could wear it open or closed. Look at that. Ay. And then it has like the matching shorts, so I think I'm going to wear um, his Air Force Ones with that. Hey guys, it's the next morning. Last time you guys saw me, I was like attempting to... Um, start packing i didn't do anything yesterday i didn't go out um i didn't do like at least to me i didn't do my best but it's okay so i'm trying to like show up today um it is like what time is it it's like 9 a.m and i'm getting dressed because i just want to walk and get a matcha like that's just something i'm looking forward to do and then, you know, today we have to get ready. We're going to pack. We're actually going to sleep over my mom's house because um, our flight is at 7 a.m. And then I want my stepdad to, like, drive us. So it would just be easier if that we're all sleeping in the, under the same roof, leave together. Um, because she is a little bit closer to LaGuardia. And, yeah, I have to pack everything today. So just... To get some pep in my step, I just like got myself together. I just threw on this Nike little dry fit top, some leggings. Um, right now I'm trying to get Abel dressed. 
Um, and we're just going to walk and get ourselves a matcha. I don't know if I want to stop by, like, the little park around here just to, like, get him off some energy, let him run around or whatever. Um, but, yeah, we didn't step outside yesterday, so we just need to make up for that and get some, like, vitamin D. Um, Abel, come on. Let's do your pamper so we can go outside. He's been, like, full toddler mode nonstop. Literally giving me a run of energy. Come on. Hey, hey, good morning. Look how cute. This little sweater my aunt got him for his birthday. I also think he need to move up a size in pampers. Like, this gross spurt, I just don't. You turned, he turned one and he's just like instant. I'm still uploading um, Abel's birthday vlog. I had a copyright, which was so frustrating. Um, so I'm just like re-uploading it again. I'm hoping to have it uploaded today because I feel like Friday would be a perfect day. Whenever it gets like delayed or stuff like that, I don't trip. I always feel like, you know what, God didn't want me to upload it. He knows when is the right time for me to upload it. Yesterday, it took the whole day. It took the whole day to upload, which is kind of frustrating when you upload the, like the longer videos. Do you guys like these vlogs that are like an hour <laughs> because i just be wanting to put everything in it but i'm like are you guys even enjoying this lengthy vlog um so just let me know where's your other shoe pop i've been loving these to throw on him they're just so easy and they really do go with everything and they're like flat so i feel like it's good for him to walk We made it home. Um, it's actually really hot out. It's actually getting hot out. I hate these weathers where it's like it tells you, oh, it's like 68 degrees. You get outside and it's like so hot. Because oh, I was hot on my way back. Um, but yeah, Mama, let that be your sign to go out. And get your little beverage, your $8 beverage. Because, you know, I just had the matcha in my mind. And that's what drove me to do our morning routine, get him dressed, get myself dressed, brush my hair, walk outside. Um, so if that's going to make you walk outside and get some good vitamin D, so be it. So be it. Um, this eyebrow is pissing me off. It's like wonky. I probably like plucked it weird. So it's in this process of growing out. So now that we're back, it's only 10 o'clock, you guys. I feel like I just had such a morning. It's only 10 o'clock. Um, so I put Abel to sleep and something in me said, move your body. So I'm going to do a move with Nicole video. Um, because I need to start getting them together and I need to implement these habits and it's not going to happen unless I actually do the action. So I have a 30 minute Pilates for beginners and let's see how much I can do. Okay. 
Period. Okay. No, let me stop. So I did 30 minutes of class. Honestly, that's the first time I moved my body like that in I don't even know how long. Say the C section pouch. I think I do see what they mean, but every body type is different. Literally for me, I do have the pouch. Um but it's my chest, bro. Like, my chest has gotten bigger and saggier. And my breasts always been an issue with me. I have all those issues of a heavy chest. Like, I be slouching. My neck hurts. I have the indents here. Like, y'all can see. Um, yeah. <laughs> the little rashes under the boobs. My boobs always been big. Too big for my petite frame. Um... So I told you, like I always say, like I would like to get a breast reduction. Like it's a must in my life. I'm gonna get a breast reduction. Like there's no question about it. Hate that I can't always wear freely what I want to wear. I can't wear tank tops without feeling so it's like so self conscious that it looks like too lusty, promiscuous, sexy. Like and I hate that. I hate that. Like it's really been annoying for me. And the thing is, is like, I don't want to do anything if I'm going to have more kids and I'm going to breastfeed. So it's like, by 40s, I want a small B. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that felt really good. I'm really proud of myself. Like I said, that's the first time I like did a little workout in like, I don't know how long. Just 30 minutes. So I'm really trying to implement that. Like, at least in his naps, if I don't have like other stuff to do, um, I just want to slowly do that and build that. I used to be heavy in the gym, like I used to love working out, and it's just like <sighs> trying to find that in me again. So I'm really happy that I completed 30 minutes at least. I want to get into Pilates. But I'm used to like a fast pace. I used to be like gym, set, set, getting your set. So this is like more slow, more, you know, focused mind to muscle movement. And it's different for me because like she's doing stuff and I'm just like trying to speed it up. Like, let's go, let's go. But there's supposed to be like a slowness in that and softness and elegance in that like ballerina like. And I used to do ballet in middle school. Fun fact. So I kind of understand that gracefulness and I want to gain that back. So Rome wasn't built in a day. So day one of a new lifestyle change. I love that for me. So ladies, if it's just 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, that's amazing. You know what I mean? 1%, 1% each day because... Fall's coming. This is our hibernation season. So we could be snatched and good by the summer. Yeah, period. Um, so yeah, I took out all of, before I did this, I took out all of Abel's clothes that we're going to pack. I don't want to make too much noise because he's sleeping in my room. So when he wakes up, but I did write in my notes kind of ideally what I'm going to take. It shouldn't be that much. I plan to do my hair in my mom's house just because I didn't, if, if you live in Jersey, is this a thing? The water, I, I took a shower and my hair was literally so hard. I tried to blow it out. It felt disgusting. It felt disgusting. Honestly, thankfully, that Jolie head shower head, I think it honestly did help. Because the first time I washed my hair, I was so confused. It felt like I had product in my hair. And it felt like I put conditioner, never washed it out. It felt so weird. It felt so gross. I don't know. Um, and I was like Googling it. I'm like, and they're like, yeah, it's note that Jersey has hard water. 
So I don't know if my hair is not used to it or what, but I'm going to shower in my mom's house, do my hair, my hair there, because um, I really don't know how I want to wear my hair for the wedding. It says it's going to be 90 degrees, and I think it's outside. So, yeah, I don't know what we about to do with that. I'm still waiting for Abel's birthday vlog to upload. It says two hours. Guys, it, it's so frustrating. Um, So I'm about to just relax for a little bit until Abel wakes up. I don't think I ever showed you guys the dress I'm wearing. This is from Hello Molly because we have a store credit and girl math is basically like a free dress. Um, so I'm gonna wear this dress. It's kind of like a mock neck with like a tank style. And then it's a little bit more flowy at the bottom. And then it comes about up to like right before my ankle. So we're gonna wear this. Um, Abel's gonna wear like that little green set I showed you guys. So he's gonna wear this. It'll kinda go because it'll have that. Then I'm gonna use the same gold heels that I used for the last wedding, the same clutch, maybe different earrings, like a little bit more of a gold earring. Um, but yeah, we rotate in the same accessories kind of pretty much. For my hair, um, since it's like gonna be turtleneck, definitely wanna have something out of the way. I don't know if it's hot, do I put my hair up? But just in case I'm gonna blow dry my hair tonight, just so that it's out and then whatever I choose to do, I could just, um... <laughs> you got scared, you almost got stuck. So whatever I end up choosing to do, the hair will be straight and waved and all of that. But let's figure out what else I want to take. Um, so they having a go away brunch. And it's going to be like 90 degrees. I am not ready to be like back in heat. So I think I'm just going to wear like this button down crop with, um, watch your hands, with these green shorts to be honest you guys i don't really care so i could just wear this like little peplum top these jorts and then i'll just wear my gucci um slips then i'm gonna take these as the wedding shoes got these from fashion nova you guys these are like the perfect gold lace-up heel you like these puppy since the dress fits a little bit up here it'll be a good little moment to show up the lace you like these mm. yeah what'd you do you fell <laughs> now i'm sure i don't need all of these pampers but after miami you just never know so i'm gonna keep as much as i can I should put this inside out so it doesn't get messed up. All right, so I'm good for right now. Uh, I want to take my shark. I need to do the makeup, like the hair tools. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Where are you trying to go? <laughs> you gonna take it for me? You're such a gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we just got this package in. I wanna show you guys. It's Abel's Busy Board. Yeah. Um, it came just in time. So it's opens up like this and it has all these buttons and the phone and like all these gits and gadgets like moving things tying the laces so i got this because i'm like when we go to restaurants and stuff like that maybe this would be better to entertain him versus just like you know giving him a phone um and it's also supposed to help teach him you know with motor skills and all that and it can help be interactive with him so i'm definitely going to drop the link down below in case you guys are interested in getting this for your little one i think it comes in a different colors um but yeah so clutch i don't know if he'll be up by the time we leave to um florida but our flight coming back he's gonna be definitely up because it's gonna be in the afternoon so this would definitely be good to entertain him we're about to head to my mom's i just want to shower and do my hair now because i know it's gonna be late and i'm tired of you guys Finding up the mattress, air mattress. <gasps> what is this, Abel? Good morning, you guys. It is 4.30 in the morning. We are getting ready. I blow dried my hair last night. It's a little bit frizzy right now, but it'll do. I just got the first layer down. Um, Cause I was rushing yesterday. Finishing at like 10. I was so tired. Uh, I just have on this simple black tank top. This one's from H&M. I really love it because it has like a built-in um, like bra to hold the girls up. And then I just have like these linen, what should I call them, black pants from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to wear my Sambas over there. And then I just have my Havana's Ruby Land. I'm going to change because I already know I'm going to be hot. Waiting for the last minute when we're about to leave to wake Abel up. Um, he slept like a baby. I slept so uncomfortable on that air mattress. Like, my neck is killing me.
drink now or later? I think it now. <laughs> what is that? Like some champagne joint. That um, bottle shape is interesting. Is nice, right? I take it home. Souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at my hair. Look at my hair. We're on the first floor. I think. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. You guys, I just took the nap of my life. That was like my first solo nap in a year. It was such a deep nap where I woke up and I didn't even realize. Like, I took a nap. Like, I woke up like, whoa. <laughs> um, so we got to the room, and since, since it's Giovanni's friend's um, wedding, he knows a lot of the people that are going to be here. So he took Abel to the pool, and I t chose to stay back because I was really, really tired, and I just needed to nap. And what a nap that was. So I took a shower. They're literally getting in right now. Look at the boys. <laughs> you like it? What? What up, though? The pool was feeling good. I'm not gonna lie. That's in my man diaper, though. You know what I mean? He went back out. Shoot, let's find me so I can get ready in peace. So yeah, I have to figure out this hair because it's frizzy and like, I definitely think I'm gonna aim for a half a path down vibe. But the thing is, what? <laughs> this never, like this part, always be frizzy but i think i'm gonna leave like a, a banging out the side banging out but it's just dealing with all of this frizz so yeah you guys i don't think i literally slept that good by myself in the entire year it was born like that nap was so needed i woke up my eyes were red like that was a goodie. I'm gonna focus on doing this hair. It is now like 2.45, the wedding is at five. Thankfully, it's in the hotel. But you know, I have to get myself ready, get Abel ready. So I'm gonna focus on doing that. And I'll catch in with you guys. I really love these heels, you guys. Not for nothing. I feel like they're just the perfect, sleek, and fashion Now with me. One. Two. These never come out working for me. Um, it's just giving this. But it's a, it's a look. It was a little chaotic getting myself able ready. He has not napped, so he's a little bit cranky. Um, so I really don't know how he's gonna act for the night. But whatever happens, happens. Nah, don't say that. So look at this hair. It rained on us, you guys, so we had to rush. That was nice and beautiful. Now sunny. it's nice. to the room because 
Abel was just tired and I just felt bad. So I came back to the room, took my makeup off. He clearly fell asleep right away. Giovanni went back to um, the wedding. I would not choose to be anywhere else but here. My feet were hurting. I was ready. So I don't mind it, but I do hear them outside. And I told your body, don't you be coming back here at like two in the morning. But it was a fun wedding. I love that it was kid friendly. You guys saw that I had like a little activity baggie for them. He only wanted to be held by Giovanni, which was getting me upset. So you want your dad to carry you? Go ahead. Like, fine. Um, but y'all saw like I was trying to dance with him. I was trying to carry him. And he would just be like crying. And I'm like, boy, boy, why are you crying? Yeah, you guys, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to cuddle with Abel. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. guys um so it's the next day obviously we are waiting to be checked into our second hotel this morning we just went to brunch they had like a farewell brunch with like the people who attended the wedding at the hotel so we were just there um chatting up with uh Giovanni's friends before we all left um so we leave tomorrow afternoon so today we are just gonna chill um, I'm not pretty sure what we're going to get into today. We're just going to find maybe an activity for Abel to do. He's napping right now. My poor baby, I feel like we just have him all out of whack when traveling. Like, I just feel so bad because we had him up late last night. Um, he woke up early. So, yeah, he's a little out, out of whack. <sighs> Me as well. Like, I am tired. Um so right now we are gonna stay at the ac in clearwater in tampa um i'll show you guys what it looks like and yeah let's see what we get into today we also are gonna meet with giovanni's dad he lives out here in tampa so we're just gonna hang out with him as well so just gonna be a relaxing chill day Um, exactly like our bathroom and the setup like in Miami, the Miami vlog, do y'all remember? Even the shower, it looks all the same. I love these toilets. I always said like I would want a toilet like this where it doesn't have the thing on the side. So it's like easy to clean. Oh, hey! Got a little organization center here. But this literally looks like the one in Miami. Now the but now we got the balcony. Nice little view. Yeah, Papa.
spoken to you yesterday. We was out and about, as you guys saw, we were like, we went to the museum, we went to walk by the water, the beach. Um, yeah, and then we went back into the room and we crashed. Right now we're up and early. We're about to go get some breakfast, um, probably walk again by the beach, and then go back to the, um, sit by the pool. Our flight is at three o'clock, so we're just trying to fit in as much as we can and do as much as we can and seize the day. We go here, have on a simple one piece with these linen pants and got my Havana's on. A little back out moment. Everyone is in uniform. Everyone got black, white, cream, soft brown. I've got a good hat though, I'm gonna love. Ava does not keep his hat on. You're gonna keep it on, boy? No? Yeah. Came back, showered, and everything. Now we're about to head to the airport, so that concludes this vlog. So thank you guys for tuning in and spending the week with us. Thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys. Stay blessed.